when I was younger, I was at college after school. Um, that started off my career and I done mechanical engineering at an HNC. Um, that was a two year course. Uh, I then went on to design roof trusses for a local company where I lived. Um, and through not a big career path in that area, I then decided to go back to college and I studied an HNC in mechatronics. Um, I had then been on the AMEC website looking for vacancies and noticed the position and applied for it. Uh, after that, it was a case of getting in contact with AMEC. Um, they then got back to me and arranged an interview. When I managed to get the job, I was over the moon about getting the vacancy and since then, I wasn't actually expecting it to be as good as it is. Um, I thoroughly enjoy my job and I can get up in the morning and like what I'm doing, so I, it's, that's a good, great benefit of it as well. My apprenticeship will be finished in September of this year. Um, it's really up to yourself, the, the time scale that you can do. You can actually do it within the two years. It may take some people a bit longer. It really depends on the project that you're working on with your company. Uh, I've been quite lucky that I've been on some big projects for AMEC, so I've had enough work to upload um, onto my portfolio. The the companies that we're currently working for, I've, I've got work planned for the, as far as 2020. Um, so, I mean, it's an ongoing thing and it's a very busy industry. My day-to-day -day job at AMEC involves the fabrication and installation drawings for some of their offshore platforms. I'm currently working on the Apache field uh, at the moment. This involves using AutoCAD or micro station that we use at AMEC. It runs on a similar software and also PDMS, which is a 3D software. And any, any new steelwork that, that goes onto the platforms um, I, I would then be involved in doing the fabrication drawings, making sure that they're of the correct standard, um, and then there would be an installation procedure put in place. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my, my visits to the rigs. I think it, it, it divides your time up from the office as well. I mean, people shouldn't just realise, as I said, I've got the, the courses as well through the apprenticeship and your offshore experience. So it's not just about the office work. When you're finished your apprenticeship, there's a lot of opportunities, especially to earn yourself a good salary. Um, I mean, it's it's well known that the oil industry is quite a wealthy industry, and if you if you're good at your job, you'll be rewarded, and you you'll have a great career path, and and you'll be able to buy yourself the things that, that you enjoy in life.